time for another Imagination Station adventure from Evangel Temple. Today's adventure is all about trusting God. I'm sure there are special people in your life that you love and trust, like your parents, teachers, and friends. But the one we can count on the most is Jesus himself. We can trust him every day and know that he is always with us. Just before we have today's Prop Talk and kick off our adventure, take a look at this special video about our back to school blast taking place this weekend, Sunday, August 30th at Evangel Temple. You won't want to miss this for sure. Kids Town Children's Ministries of Evangel Temple proudly presents the Kids Town Back to School Blast. It all happens this Sunday, November 30th. We will start things at 10:15, as Sunday school will let out early. It will be tons of fun featuring many giant inflatables and games. Be sure to wear outdoor play clothes. Girls, that means no dresses. All games will be cleaned periodically and social distancing will be enforced. We want to have fun plus be safe. Families of Kids Town Kids may join us after service for a pre-bagged lunch. It will be served to Kids Town Kids and their immediate families only. Don't miss the awesome, back to school blast, this Sunday at Evangel Temple. Kids Town is the best place on the planet for kids. Visit our website at kidstownet.com for more details. ready to go on a Bible adventure. Me too! But before we see Emily and Shine, it's time for Prop Talk! Friends, what is this? That's right! It's the Bible! The Bible is God's Word. When we read it and obey it, our faith team gets bigger and bigger! Friends, let's practice! I'm going to read from the Bible and we're going to practice doing what it says! Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. Listen to God's word. Can you guys wiggle your listening ears? Okay, I think our faith seats are already getting a little bigger. Are you guys ready for the next one? Okay, sing to Jesus. Okay, friends, we're gonna make up a little song and sing it together. Are you ready? I love Jesus, yes I do. And his word is right and true. Can you guys sing it with me? I love Jesus, yes I do, and his word is right and true. Great job, you sound amazing. I think our faith seats are so big. Let's try another one. Okay, pray to God. Okay, bow your heads and close your eyes. We're gonna talk to God together. Jesus, please help me obey, amen. Great job, friends. Okay, let's try again. Wait with a good attitude. Can you guys show me a big smile? Okay, I think I have one more for us to practice with. Are you guys ready? All right. Obey what my leaders say. Can you guys go like this? Great job. Do you want to try it again? Great job, friends. When we obey what the Bible says, our faith seed gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I think our faith seeds are super big. Let's go on our Bible adventure and learn even more about our faith. Can you guys shake your hands high in the sky? Woohoo! On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So much in the Bible for me to know on my Bible adventure. I want to know that God is real. I want to know how I could be his friend. I want to know who Jesus is. I want to find out what the Bible's all about. Hey! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, la, la. On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So many ways that I will grow on my Bible adventure. I'm gonna learn my memory verse I'm gonna pray and talk to God I'm gonna sing new songs to God And keep singing the songs all week long Oh, do 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 La 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 On your mark, get set, go On 
a Bible adventure. Church is a fun place we can go on a Bible adventure. Wiggle my waggle! Hi friends, I'm Emily. Shine the Star sent me the question, how do you show faith? I'm going on a Bible adventure to find out. Shake your hands high in the sky if you'll go with me. Woohoo! Let's put on our adventure bags. <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> Wee! Hiya, friends! Hi, Shine. We're getting ready for our Bible adventure. Did you pack your picture passes? Not yet. What's in my trunk? Oh, I know. The first one is something that has numbers on it and tells the time. Friends, which picture pass is it? <gasps> the clock! <laughs> Open your adventure bags. <laughs> okay, this one's inside your head. You think and remember with it. Rem hmm. You're right as a green light. <laughs> the brain. Put it in your adventure bags. Now for the last one. When you add water and sunshine, it'll grow. Hmm, what could it be? We've got them all. Count them with me, friends. One, two, three. Let's zip our adventure bags together. Now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly. fly. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Shine, I read the question, how do you show faith? But I don't know what faith is. Faith is trusting and believing. Trusting and believing? Maybe our picture passes will help. We have a clock, a brain, and a seed. Oh, Shine, I still don't get it. Then let's watch a story from the Bible that's all about faith. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust. It's right and true. <gasps> Abraham's big test. That's from the book of Genesis. I've heard of Abraham before. He was a real person who lived a really long time ago. Friends, maybe Abraham can show us what faith means. <laughs> God promised Abraham a son, and from that son, many descendants, who would bless the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old to have children. Twenty years went by. Still, Abraham trusted God's promise. When he was 100 and Sarah was 90, God reminded them of his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. When their son was born, Sarah was so joyful that she laughed. <laughs> God has brought me laughter, she said. So they named their son Isaac, which means he laughs. <laughs> when Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to take Isaac to Mount Moriah and kill him as a sacrifice to God. Abraham was confused, but still he trusted God. Isaac carried the wood, and Abraham held the knife and torch. Together they climbed the mountain. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? asked Isaac. God will provide it, Abraham replied. Abraham arranged the wood on an altar tied up Isaac and laid him on the wood. As he raised the knife to kill Isaac, an angel called his name. Abraham, don't hurt the boy, the angel cried. God knows you trust his promise. Look, there in the bushes, a ram is caught by its horns. Sacrifice that instead. So Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. 
He called the place God will provide because God provided the sacrifice. Just as God had said, his promise came true. Did you see how Abraham trusted and believed? Yeah, God told Abraham that he was going to give him a son. Abraham believed God and God kept his promise. Abraham trusted and believed God, so he obeyed God to show faith. Obey? <gasps> Obey! How do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey. <laughs> Wee! That's the answer to the question. I wonder if Blinky and Cloudette know about faith. I don't know. I'll go find out. And I'll find out about these picture passes on our Bible adventure. Come on! <laughs> oh, that Abraham, he sure showed some faith. Oh, hi, Emily. Hi, guy. Look at this. What is it? What is it? I just learned in my favorite book, the Bible, about a man who showed a lot of faith. So did we. What? You did? Yeah. Friends, who do you learn about with Emily? It was Abraham. But we still don't know what it really means to show faith. Faith. Hmm. Let me see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Faith means trusting and believing. That's what Shine said. But how did Abraham trust and believe? Remember when God made a promise to Abraham? Yeah. God told Abraham that he would give him a son, even though Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old. But he had faith. He trusted and believed God the whole time. And God gave him a son when he was 100 years old. That reminds me of one of our picture passes. Count them with me, friends. One, two, three. Great. Now, which one has numbers on it and tells the time. It is the clock. A clock reminds you to show faith in God by waiting, even if it takes a long time. I think I need a Bible verse to help me remember to trust God while I wait. Oh, oh I have one. <laughs> Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn a verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? OK, watch first. Okay. Psalm 3114. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, repeat after me. Okay. Psalm 3114. Psalm 3114. I trust. I trust. In you, Lord. In you, Lord. I say, I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God! <laughs> you are my God, you are my God, you are my God! <laughs> <laughs> okay, great job, friends. Now, let's do the whole verse together. Yeah. Psalm, Psalm 31, 14. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you, you are, are my God, God. You, you are, are my God, God. you are my God! God. <laughs> Jump and jambalaya! When I have to wait, I'll trust God. He is my God! Trusting God is a way to obey. That reminds me of the question. How do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey. <laughs> I'll remember that on our Bible adventure. Bye, guy. See ya. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. can't share. It's just a box anyway. But I heard Mr. Stone say you had to. <laughs> Blinky, what's in that box? Oh, all right already. Oh la la, bubbles. Let's play bubbles. No, no bubbles. Why are you being so selfish? I just super dee duper love bubbles. If I share, you guys will use it all up, and I'll have to wait forever. Wait? For what? Well, uh, 
It's a gap more bubbles, of course. But Mr. Stone told you to share. Yeah. And he said he'd give me more after they're all gone. So what's the big deal? What if Mr. Stone forgets? Then I'll never get any bubbles. Blinky, you need to have some faith in Mr. Stone. Trust, believe, obey. Trust, believe, obey? God is so good. He gave you Mr. Stone to take care of you. Yeah, God did give me Mr. Stone to take care of me when Mommy's busy. I know he loves me. I really do trust him. But I'll be so sad if I don't get more bubbles. Abraham felt like that too. He knew God loved him. He trusted God. But do you think Abraham wanted to give his only son back to God? No way. That is too sad. Abraham shouldn't do that. Abraham did do it because he had faith. He believed, trusted, and obeyed God. Shine. Abraham lived a long time ago. That's why he could be so brave and obey. I'm just a little bug. I can't do it. You can because God put a tiny faith seed in your heart when you asked Jesus to be your leader. It'll grow every time you remember God is real and loves you. I think I feel that faith seed growing right now. I can trust and believe God. Wee! Claudette! Wee oui, wee? Oui. I'm gonna share all my bubbles with you guys. I'll show faith in God by trusting Mr. Stone and obeying. Yay! Yay! Well, now we know what the clock's for. We show faith by trusting and believing in God, even when we have to wait. But what about the other two? Say them with me, friends. A brain and a seed. Hmm. <gasps> Do you hear that? It sounds like it's coming from Mr. Music's singing studio! Let's go! Mr. Music! Oh boy, I'm sure glad that you're here. We've got to ask you a question. Ask away. How do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey. Yeah, that's the answer! And Guy the Bible Guy taught us this verse to help. Psalm 31, 14. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. <laughs> wow, that verse reminds me of a man in the Bible named Abraham. Yakety yo-yos, we know about him. Do you remember when God asked Abraham to give his son Isaac back? I do remember that part. It was sad and kind of scary. Yes, but Abraham had faith in God, so he obeyed God. Mr. Music, why did Abraham have faith to obey God? Because Abraham remembered that God kept his promise to give him a son. Remember! That reminds me of one of our picture passes. Whew. Count with me, friends. One, two, three! Now, which picture pass is it? It's something inside your head. You think and remember with it. The brain! Abraham used his brain to remember the promise God kept. When Abraham was scared or worried, he remembered what God did before and believed that God would take care of him again. Can we do that too? Sure you can. In fact, I know a song that'll help. Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. <laughs> I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? <laughs> do you want to sing it from the beginning? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Repeat after me. Okay. 
I want faith like Abraham. I want faith like Abraham. When I can't, I know God can. When I can't, I know God can. Why should I be scared or worried? Why should I be scared or worried? I know that my God is with me. I know that my God is with me. That was great. Here we go. <laughs> I can trust my God. I can trust him and obey. I can trust Jesus. I can trust him and obey. F -f -f -faith. F -f -f -faith. F -f -f faith F -f -f faith That was great. <laughs> Here we go. When a problem comes my way. When a problem comes my way. I can look to God and pray. I can look to God and pray. And why should I be scared or worried? Why should I be scared or worried? I know that my God is with me. I know that my God is with me. Yeah! <laughs> I can trust my God. I can trust Him and obey. I can trust Jesus. I can trust Him and obey. I can trust my God. I can trust Him and obey. I can trust Jesus. I can trust Him and obey. B -b 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 that was great! Now, stand up on your feet to worship God with singing, music, and dancing. <laughs>
a Bible adventure. Do you know more about faith? Sure do. Guy the Bible Guy taught us a verse about faith. Say it with me, friends. Psalm 31, 14. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. <laughs> so faith means you'll trust God and believe he's always your God. Yeah, and the verse helps us remember the answer to the question. Ask us the question, Shine, ask us the question. How do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey. <laughs> Wee! And the picture passes? <gasps> Count with me, friends. One, two, three. <laughs> the clock helps us remember to trust and obey God, even when we have to wait a really long time. <laughs> And the brain helps us remember what God did before, so we can trust and believe God now. <laughs> but, Shine, what about the seed? When you choose Jesus as your leader, you get a teeny tiny seed of faith in your heart. Well, if it's so tiny, how will it help me trust and believe God more? Like a seed, faith grows. Every time you trust, believe, and obey God, it's like giving water and sunshine to your faith seed. Well, what'll a tiny faith seed grow up to be? It'll grow into kind, loving actions. When your faith grows big and strong, your actions will help other people trust, believe, and obey God too. God promises to help you grow your faith. Pray to God, and he'll keep that promise. Let's do that right now. Okay, bow your head and close your eyes. We're going to talk to God together. Dear God, help us to show faith. Give us patience, and help us remember the promises that you've kept, and grow our faith seed. In Jesus' name, amen. <gasps> Great giggling geckos, it's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye, friends! Hi, friends! Do you guys know what time it is? It's time for picture passes! Can you guys put on your adventure bags with me? One, two, three, whoosh! All right, friends, what do you guys think is in here? I think you're right. I think my picture passes are in here. How many do you think I have? Do you think I have five? No. Do you think I have 5,000? No. I think I have three picture passes. Do you think so? I knew you guys would know. You're so smart. Okay, let's see which one I pick first. <gasps> what is this? You're right, it's a clock. The clock reminds us, I can wait. Can you guys say that? Great job. Okay, friends, so I have some questions for you. Are you ready? Wiggle those listening ears. All right, friends, when you're waiting, who can you trust and obey? Those are great answers. Yes, we can trust and obey God, our parents, our leaders, lots of people. Okay, friends, are you guys ready for my next one? Okay, let's see which one I pick. What is this? That's right, it's a faith seed. Can you guys say, faith can grow? Great job. What kind of seed can grow in your heart? A faith seed. You guys are so smart. Are you ready for my last picture pass? Okay, I wonder what it is, do you know? Let's see if you're right. It's a brain! Can you guys point at your brain? Great job! My brain remembers. Can you guys say that? Great job! So friends, how can your brain help you trust and remember God? 
Those are some great answers. It helps us remember all the good things that God has done for us and how much He loves us. Friends, I had so much fun going on our Bible adventure today. Did you have fun? Yay! Well, now you get to tell your families all about what you learned from Emily and Shine. There's gonna be some questions you can talk about, okay? All right, well, you guys have a great week. Bye, friends! We hope you had a fun adventure today. And this Sunday, August 30th, we're gonna have another exciting adventure here at Evangel Temple. Don't miss our back to school blast this Sunday morning. Be sure to come dressed to play outdoors. Girls, no dresses. We're going to have an awesome time and we hope you will join us as children's, all our children's ministries are now open on site. You can get all the details at kidstownet.com.